you know, anytime I look at you, I feel like proposing to you over and over again. Everything you do is exceptionally exceptional. Thank you. Oh, I prepared the breakfast. I am not talking about the breakfast. Babe, thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for making me a happy man. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Ah, oh, my husband is always full of surprises. Do you want to guess? Tell us what you're up to this time. We'll be having our wedding in Paris. No. Yes. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes, I yes, I And that's not all. I want you to choose any city and country of your choice where we'll have our honeymoon. Oh my god, no. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking cans. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am happy for you, my sister. I know. I, am so happy. I know. You are just awesome. And you're awesome. This is too much. Mm, it's nothing. I can do anything for you, my love. Oh yes, he's just the best. I know. I mean, how many men would do this for a woman that just paid her bread price? Thank you. You're welcome. Don't worry. Finish your food. I have something to show you. Really? Mm -hmm. Hey, say thank you. <laughs> thank you. No, it's nothing. It's all right. It's fine. Right. Go back to your food. <laughs> how, do, how do I live in this house with them pretending I'm not crushing on him. How I crave for his second touch. I want to have you as my Frank. You are my dream. Your dream man. I don't understand. You see, I have lived with them for some weeks now and I've seen the amount of love he has been showering on my sister. I don't just feel jealous, I'm upset. I'm very upset. Hello. <laughs> you know he loves us so much. I mean, all you need to do is pray to God to give you a man like him. Pray? Mm-hmm. Huh. Let me tell you why it is very difficult, very, very difficult to get a man like him out there. He is romantic, sexy, smart, intelligent, loving, and most importantly, he's very good in bed. What? <laughs> wait, wait. Uh... Don't tell me you've had him already. Like, he has visited your headquarters? No. He had me. <laughs> oh, yes, babe. He had me, and since then, the memory has clouded my head. He is just. Just. He, he is just excellently excellent. <laughs> His touch is magical, oh my goodness. He's a great kisser. And emoting. Ah. Ah. Now you want to make me start thinking, huh? <laughs> oh, 
By the way, don't you feel guilty for sleeping with your sister's husband? Guilty? How would I feel guilty when he took me over the night cloud? The feeling was excitingly overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, how do you want to go about this? Sweetheart, if I tell you I don't have a plan, then I'm a liar. You mm -hmm. do? Tell me about it. Wait for the result, babes. You will like it. <laughs> Bama, get us more drinks. We are getting drunk. <laughs> you know, I used to think I was the bad one. Mm -hmm. But with this, it's simply a professor. Mm -hmm. Sweetie, you're welcome. Let me help you with your business. Oh, thanks. Smell of alcohol. Ah. So tell me why. You have been avoiding me. Cleo, mm -hmm. you need to accord me some respect. Respect? What do you want? This is seduction. And you know this is not right. Hey, hey. You didn't say this the last time you had me on bed. Ah, oh, the feeling was something else. I wanted it to last forever. Ah. Oh. Listen, Cleo. Mm. Hey, listen. That was the biggest mistake I made in my life. And I still regret it. It was disgusting. Ah. We shall see. You're just the chakra. <laughs> I know you will come and beg for it. Because deep down inside your heart, you want to have this again. You want to have it again, again, and again.
What's bothering you? Um, there's something I need to tell you. You see, I won't want my past to ruin our future. Oh, God. I have told you times without number, countless times. I don't care about your past. I don't care about how many women you dated or what transpired between you and them. That's in the past and is buried. I understand, but you see, there is this one I need to... I don't want to hear it. Honey, let me just... No. In fact, tell me what you think about this jewelry. It's not very expensive. It's just... No. It's out there. Like, really big. Nothing special. I like the way it sits on my neck. On her neck. Frank? Babe? saying it again. I will not come to your room. Whatever happened between us was a mistake and it will not happen again. Why would you call last a mistake? What did you say? Come on, call a speedy speed. Last is last. And I know that your obsession towards me is unbearable. Stop deceiving yourself. You're the one that is obsessed with me. Listen, just stop it. Stop it! Stop what? I have not even told you the reason I called you. Hey, hey, listen. That's my wife. Just go, go, go! Did you don't come with me? I said, hi! I'm going to stop it. Hello? Hello? Babe. What are you doing here? Um, I... I wanted to um, have a drink. Um, so I came to us. But now that you're here, why don't we discuss about our wedding preparation? Ah, let's. I was thinking. Okay. Now perhaps we should have our traditional marriage and the white wedding side by side. Do you know? Like that thing we do now. We do the traditional marriage in the morning. Okay. And then we do the white at night. Not really at night. Okay. Like noon. Okay. And then reception food. Is that what you want? Right. That's what I've been thinking. It's fine. Let's do it that way. Oh, you. <laughs> Come here. Everything for you. Babe. Why are you here? Uh, like I said, I just um, came to have a drink and, uh, you know. <laughs> so, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yes, I can't. Side by side. Yes, exactly. And then you feel like one friend and sister. Uh -huh, that's it. That's what's That's what's That's it. How's that thing again? I mean, one stone into it. One stone into it. Yeah. yeah. Traditional 
whites away from me. Over an hour. Well, I'm very sorry for keeping you waiting. Vincent. Yes. Why are we here? Isn't it beautiful? Now tell me, I have been waiting for this flower. Excuse me. Uh, one more thing. One more thing. Don't be stupid. Tell him the truth. You said you've been crushing on this man from the first day you set your eyes on him. And you said he is your dream man. Why not make this dream a reality? You don't understand. Honestly, you don't. He is dearly in love with my sister. How do I tell him this? How? How do you tell him you're carrying his child? You just have to look for a way to tell him. You must tell him. Who knows? He might turn his attention to you. And what would people say? How would my sister feel about this? I know she will feel betrayed. But your future comes first. And you need to fix it. Look, your friend. If you don't think you're lucky, then I will tell you as a good friend that you are a very lucky girl. Delia, how am I lucky? How? Yes, I crush on Frank, no doubt. But the result of what I did with him is... It's shameful. Stop sounding like a child. After all, he's not yet married to your sister. You can still be his wife, you know. Oh, he has paid her bread price. And does that make her his wife? Come on, think, this is your chance and you need to grab it, you need a good life, you need to be loved. This will be the last time 
I will tell you to come and hear this. If you don't want us to sit and talk, I will tell my sister about this pregnancy. And you know what that means. You are pregnant? Cool. about it. Something like what? Get rid of it? Never. Never! You're the one that put it in here, so you're going to take the responsibility of it. And how do you think your sister will perceive this? Oh, she will think we went into an adventure and it yielded this result. You know what? I need to be left alone. I need to rest. This pregnancy is a big job. so I can give you the full gist. <laughs> All right, love, take care. <laughs> My God. What have I gotten myself into? What kind of mistake is this? God, please help me. Help me, I promise I will not make this kind of mistake again. Should I get you anything to eat? Well, when you decide to eat something, I'll be there. By the way, don't you think I deserve a gift for this? Oh yes. A big gift of that. <laughs> Come to think of it, I'm the first woman to carry the seed. Why won't I squeeze? Eh? Why won't I squeeze? I was trying to tell you something in the morning, you just left. Like that, without even listening to me, you just walked away. Is it only that one? Wait for me, wait for me. Ah, 
Somebody don't want my only mama me. Okay, I'm here now. Yeah, talk to me. What was it? Oh, what is it? What is it? Nani. Hmm. I had a terrible dream and I don't like it. Terrible dream? Tell me, what is it all about? Nani and some Mary and Cleopatra. They were fighting. And they were tearing themselves with blades. Fighting and tearing their faces. Yes. With razor blades. Yeah. Since you know me. I think we need to call Mary. We need to call her and warn her immediately. I don't think that won't be enough. I have to go to them. Straight. I have to visit them. Now. Putting a call to them is enough. You know now, they just started. You don't understand? I don't want our in-laws to think that we are badging into them and we are taking advantage of their simplicity. Please. Huh? You are correct. Putting a call to them is just okay. You are correct, you are correct. I'll yes. call them. Yeah. I'll call them okay. on phone. Hey! Okay, it's okay. And everything will be fine. So any food in the house, you know I'm fine. You're always eating. Why wouldn't I eat now? You know my favorite now. I'm talking of a serious issue. You're talking of food. Don't worry, they'll be fine. Wait, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm coming to bring food for you. No, bring it. Let me. I will. I will. I will. Don't sit down now. I will assist you. I will assist you. Mama, man. Shopping mall. Shop, to shop, of course. You were there last week and you were there yesterday. New designs every day, every day. I have to get them. Mm -hmm. Where's my husband? He should be in the bed. Oh, hey, you. Hi, Shana. How are you? That's an easy face. What's it up? Hi. I'm good. good. Yes, good. Uh, Frank, yeah. can I use your car? To where? To the shopping mall, of course. Oh, God. I guess that's a yes. No. no. All right. Wait. See you, sis. Hey, wait. Take care of you. What is wrong with her? I don't know. Uh, honey, I'll be upstairs. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. I'm just tired. Uh, yeah. I'll join you once Shola leaves. It's fine. Shola, have any time. Yeah, Would you want to ask What? What was that for? What was what for? Didn't you see the reciprocal display? You've come with your big drum grammar. Oh, 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 I'm serious. Didn't you notice anything? There was nothing to be noticed. Frank already knows your that the girl is silly. Mm -mm. Your sister and your husband share this mutual bond they are hiding from you. you look at the way she called him Frank and, and left his car The girl has no manners. Can we discuss something else now? And don't make me think nonsense. Me, 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 me. Shine your eyes. My eyes are open. Before they were shining for you. What do you want to drink? If I were you, I would live in this house alone with my husband before it becomes home for us. I'll take that to me you want the juice. Fine. I'll get you a glass. Thank you. You are sick. <laughs> Bobby, I'm in a big trouble. I'm in a mess. I need to see you. Where are you? You're not in town. All right, please, just let me know when you're back. All right.
Can I talk to you? About what? Take a very good look. I'm a good cook. I am smart and intelligent. I am every man's dream. Of course you are. So what are you waiting for? Send my sister away. Yes. Send her away. Let me treat you like the king that you are. She's hardly at home, always at work, comes back late. She doesn't have time to take care of you. I am here to take very good care of you. Just Say my way. I will do all that for you, I promise. Wait. You want me to send her away? Yes. Okay. I'll think about it. And I'm very sure that he would have made up his mind to chase her away. Mm -hmm. Stop talking like a child. I mean, you and I know that he cannot just send her out like that. He's only fooling you. Come on. Think like a boss lady. So how do you think this will be easily done? I just look for a tangible allegation that will upset him. You can tell him. She already has a child for another man elsewhere. Are you done thinking about what I told you? Yes. And? And I have come to the conclusion that you are heartlessly ungrateful and you have no respect for tradition. Why are you insulting me? I can tell you a secret about her. That will shock you. Spare me that. You want me to divorce a woman I have paid a bright price and get married to you just because you claim that you're pregnant? How? Claim? Did you say I claim that I'm pregnant? I am pregnant. Don't, please, don't make it sound like I'm making this whole thing up. I am pregnant for you. I've taken in. Away from my marriage. I will set this house and your stupid marriage ablaze if you joke with me. I am done. 
done talking. Frank. Frank! Frank, come back here! That is my girl. <laughs> now you have your two legs placed strongly in that house. You can say that again. The next step is to go and tell your sister. <laughs> oh yes, I'll tell my sister, but not now. I need to squeeze out enough cash from the front before telling my sister. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now you're behaving like the smart girl that you are. Who knows? You might be the one going to Paris with him for the wedding. And me as a maid of honor. Ooh, <laughs> that would be a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this one? Uh -huh. uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. This one is beautiful. <laughs> I choose this. Wait until you see this one. That. <sighs> oh my god. I know. This is beautiful. <laughs> see, I'll advise you to do your shopping in over there in Paris. Yes. I mean, you're right, Shola, but it's going to be so much of a bother because I need to buy clothes dresses here in Nigeria. You know she's going to be my cheap price bed. Because I need to get her like a dress or two. And I have to buy it here. Have you taken time to study your sister's body? Shola, can you please stop? Okay. I've been fighting my mind already. I give up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm. This is lovely. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Let me see more. Let me see the other one. I'm stupid. What's going on? Cleo. Cleo. Tell me the truth. Do I look like I'm stupid? Eva, I, I don't understand. What's going on? Not play with me. Don't even think it. You caught the phone on me? We shall see. You told my wife. Go and fix it.
stupid? I mean, do you think I'm stupid for loving her so much? Do you think that I am stupid for letting her into my home? I mean, am I stupid for doing basically every single thing she's ever asked me to do? No, but... Then why do I have this strong feeling, this hunch, that she certainly isn't happy about my upcoming wedding? Do you know what happened today? No, what happened? I'll tell you. So, I get her to show her the lovely dress I have picked for her to wear for our upcoming wedding. You know what she says to me? I'll tell you. She said, it is not necessary. Who says that? What does that even mean? Did you hear me? She said it is not necessary. Yeah, she would have said more if I hadn't walked away. She would have said so much more. Uh, but well, I mean, you, you know your sis too well. You know, maybe she just, um, she just wanted you to give her the money. Or maybe why don't you just give her the money to get the dress of her choice? You know, after she made me feel so terrible. Um, I understand, but it's alright. It's fine, don't worry. Uh, so, so tell me, um, what did you uh, make for dinner? Yeah, burger. <laughs> Great, great. Did you hear what I said? She said it's not necessary. <laughs> Who says that? Who says that? It's my wedding. Yeah. My yeah. decisions, my plans. And then she says it is not necessary. <laughs> like. got myself in trouble. Listen, if you're here to tell me to abort my baby, then forget it. Because I will not do it. I cannot shed an innocent blood. No! I'm a child of God. I cannot commit sin. As a matter of fact, I hate sin. Yes. You should have thought of this before you threw yourself at me. Oh, please. I did not throw myself at you. You accepted what I gave to you. I mean, who wouldn't? So don't make it seem like I'm cheap. I am not cheap. Listen, you threw yourself at me and you landed us in a very big trouble. What do we do now? Did you leave your office just to come shout at me? You came here all the way from your office to shout at me. Did I remind you that I'm carrying your child? I cannot be carrying your child and be receiving insult. I need pumping. Pamper me. Nothing to fix. 
The only thing that needs to be fixed here is my future, which you have shattered. All right. I have an idea. Are you sending me to London to stay until I have my baby? You want to go to London and have a baby? What do you want? Tell me what you want first. In fact, you need to go. I am tired. I need to rest. Say you should go. Leave my room. I need to rest. The baby needs rest. Don't be stupid to let him deceive you and lure you out of the house. Can't you see he is trying to send you away so they could fly to Paris and have a peaceful wedding? Oh my goodness. You have a point. Babe, why are you this smart? And why did I think of it? Do you know I almost accepted? Huh? Oh no. No! No! He cannot that smart me. No! I will not allow that. Never! I will not outsmart you. Yes. You cannot outsmart me. Yes. You can't. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to say? I just told you. I found a house at Airport View Estate and I am ready to buy that house for you. You're ready to buy a house for me? Yes. What am I going to do with a new house? Wait a minute. Are you trying to... Are you trying to send me away? No. What I'm saying is, I want you to stay there till you deliver the baby. Rubbish. I am not going anywhere. I am not stupid. What do you want? I want a better life. Yes, that's what I want. A better life. That's all. I'm going to go anywhere. It's going to be on my terms. I will tell you where I want to go. Are you ready? You don't want to hear. Hmm? Because you're so mad with me. If we can take you to London, that would be the best option. I was told they have a family house there. I think that's a nice idea. London is fine by me. Having my child there wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? Not at all. <laughs> I see you there, babe. <laughs> London Beach. <laughs> What? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? And what are you thinking? Can't you see he's just trying to send you out of the country? What would be your feet when you get there? And how would you even prove to him that the child is his? If I understand you well, you mean Frank might abandon me in London. Oh, come off it, daughter. My Frank is not that weak. I have a friend that was sent to London by a young woman friend. I'm getting there. She could not hear from him again. And you know what? She resorted to prostitution in order to fend for herself until she delivered the child. Are you serious? Hmm? Yeah. 
Thank God I have a smart, intelligent friend like you. How would I be led out like a sheep to slaughter? Babes, thank you very much. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'll come and see you tomorrow. Okay. Yes, I'll be on my way. Alright, take care. Take care. Ram. Do you want to go to London? So so you'll be raising your shoulders high for me, like a peacock. London babe. London babe. Go let me see you. You think I've forgotten how you smashed Sonny away from me? Idiot. Changed my mind. What? Don't be silly. Hey, listen, I've had it up to here. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Oh, you want us to raise our voices? Fine. Let's raise our voices. Let's shout. That's what you want, right? Why are you this heartless? Heartless. Frank. He said I'm heartless. Do you know what it means and what it takes to carry the baby that you put in here? And you have the guts to call me heartless. I will not have you turn me up and down like a baby. You told me that you wanted to go to London. Here is your passport and your visa in it. Go to London. Stop it. You will go to London. I am not going to London. Yeah, no problem. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving the house now. Yeah. All right. I need to talk to you. What is it? I want to register for Atlanta tomorrow. Oh, come on. There is no need for that. You do that when you get to London. Who says I'll be going to London? I have told you before that I'm not going to London. You see, then I don't have money to give to you. All right. I'll go to your wife and tell her to give me some money to register for Atlanta. What is wrong with you? You are wrong with me. How much are we talking about? 200,000. What? Mm. 200,000? Are you going for a Cesarea session? Are you giving me the money or not? I'll give you the money when I return. Good. Listen, Bobby. I have never seen anyone as heartless as that girl in my entire life. You know, I don't know what her problem is. I was already about paying for the house. She said that she, that she, she does not want the house anymore. I asked her, okay, what do you want? She said she wants to go to London. Mm -hmm. I said, no problem. I got her passport. I was already making an arrangement for her to go to London. And the next thing she told me, she said, she's not going to London anymore. Just like that? Just like that. What was her reason? I don't know. I think she just wanted to frustrate me. I mean, okay, this morning now, she's asking me to give her 200000 for Antinata. Frank, 
two hundred thousand naira for Antonata. She's me. She's very wicked. You know, sometimes I just feel like I'm dreaming. I need to wake up from this dream. Listen, she's beginning to make me have some kind of evil thoughts in my mind. Sometimes I just feel like arranging for some assassins to just eliminate no, 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 no. Frank, it has got to that or oh, forget about that. I don't think that's necessary. If it was necessary, I would have done that last week. Okay, what do I do now? I think you should play a fool. Yes, take it very soft with her. Play the fool. Let her until she's out of your life and out of your marriage. Sometimes it's good for a wise man to play a fool. For the fool to be the fool. Hello? Hello? Okay, alright. I will meet you once I leave. Once I leave you now, I will meet you. I will, I'm with my friend Frank. Yes, I'll meet you once I leave you. Frank? Yeah. What is it? Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. Can you talk? Yeah, sure. What's going on? You're nervous. Nervous? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fine. No, you're sweating. Oh, hi. Plus, you've stopped talking about our wedding. There's something you want to tell me? Honey, the truth is, I, I have a lot of things that I'm trying to fix right now. You know, in due time, our wedding will, 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 will sort it out, yeah. Are you having problems with your workers at the office? No, no. I, I just said I have a lot of things I need to fix. Listen, when, I've, when I'm done fixing them, we'll go to Paris and have our wedding, okay? It's so chill in here, but you're sweating. I don't know, I think maybe I'm just um, running temperature, I don't know. It's fine. So I just um, wanted to be a little bit uh, tipsy, that's all. Frank, are you sure you're alright? I mean, this is unlike you. Uh, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I, listen, I know you're worried, alright? Um, I'll get drunk. Very well then. I'll get to my room. Alright, safe. Safe. Take care. Okay, bye. Bye. I'll be back before you know it. Okay. Putting on. Hey, Sonny. Sonny, I won't forgive you this time. Hey, this 
listen, I will not have you talk to me in that manner. What is wrong with you? You sent that your friend to insult me today. Do I have to crawl on my knees and beg for the money? Do I? You have told me before and I'm saying it again. I do not have any money to give to you. Very well then. You don't want me to tell my sister about this, do you? Shut up! I will throw you out of this house. Frank! You cannot throw me out. Listen, you don't know me. I will just kill you. Go and ask about me. This is a very rugged to the call. This is the same thing you are doing. That's why I killed 14 girls way back. Yes! I will just send my boys to kill you.